All right, Shalom Israel. This is your brother Ayah Shalom from the Defenders of the Gospel Israelite Camp. We want to first and foremost give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash, double honors to the apostles of the elders of Great Millstone, citations to the Akim out here pushing his truth for our sincerity and diligence, pieces and blessings to the one third men, women, and children that's following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. And also listening and supporting the prophets that's out here on these highways and byways pushing this truth and peace and blessings to the Israelite foreigners scattered all four corners of the earth that's coming back to their true um that's coming back to the uh their true nationality, which is uh the nation of Israel, even though they were scattered in to these other nations and look as the other nations to speak these other nations' tongues, tongues mean a language, you know. And I just want to do a quick script, uh, um, go over quick, uh, um, go over some quick scriptures about um, about gaining the wisdom, not to understanding of the heavenly Father, which is named in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, in the name of his of his only begotten Son, who the word only called Jesus Christ, which is named in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. How shall I mean he will save Hamashiach meaning the anointed, you know. And the reason why um I want to go over these scriptures is because, you know, the main thing that you you want you want to gain when you come to the knowledge of knowing your nationality, speaking to the Israelites, you know, is gaining the wisdom knowledge understanding. From the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, because with the knowledge you can get far in life. Um wisdom not your understanding of the scriptures prolongs your days on this on this earth, you know. But let me bring out this first scripture. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter two, verse thirteen. And it says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. You know, so happy is the man that that has the wisdom of the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, and understand the scriptures, you know, because some people can, because majority of people, when they read the scriptures, you know, they don't understand what they're reading, nor they, they gain wisdom from it, you know, they think of the scriptures as some fairy tale, you know, a fairy tale book, man, where this is the book of life, you know, this is, this book show you how how to live righteously, how to eat righteously, you know what I'm saying? It 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 feeds your heart, you know what I'm saying, good good food, you know what I'm saying, good fruit, you know what I'm saying? And the Hebrew word for heart is the ah, meaning your mind. So it feeds your mind good food, you know. Understand it on how how to live in this world full of uh wickedness, you know. For the merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof is thereof than fine gold. You know, so this uh, so what's an eye's understanding? You know what I'm saying? It's more, it's more, it's better than silver and fine gold. You know, she is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not compared unto her. You know. So everything, you know what I'm saying, all the carnal things of this world from money, women, cars, houses, good paying job, nothing can compare to the wisdom and knowledge understanding of the scriptures, man. Because because when you have nothing and you live in a time where your face is tested, money and all them and all the carnal things can get you out of situations. Only the wisdom, not the understanding of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, can get you out of situations where, where it's going to be, how should I put it, uh, the word I'm looking for, it's going to be well beneficial in the long run, you know, because these scriptures, you know, these scriptures is, you know, they'll, they'll save your life. Let 
show I could get. Because I just had this picture, but. I just had this picture too. So I can. Yeah. Um, here we go. Man, let me bring out this first scripture. This is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. It says, The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You know, so in order to get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, you first have to fear the Most High. You know, when you understand the things that he'll, that he can do to you as a punishment or or what he can do to something close to you, that's when the wisdom kick in, you know. And when and when that wisdom and when that fear kick in, that's when the wisdom kick in, you learn how to make better choices. Not saying that we're gonna be perfect, you know, but you know, it you'll you'll learn how to how to uh conduct yourself after making mistakes, you know. Let me bring this out. Um there we go. The fear of the Lord Yahweh prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. You know, so the fear of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And when you fear the Lord, you gain wisdom. And when you and when you gain wisdom, that prolongeth your days, man. You know what I'm saying? You'll you'll have longer days, man. You know, if you eat if you eat healthy according to the dietary law, you know what I'm saying? Uh, many other things also, you know, that, that prolongs your days, man, and keeps you out of harm's way. You know, even though we get tested, you know what I'm saying, day to day, you know, but all in all, following these laws, statutes, and commandments prolong your days, man. You know, it, it gives you life. You know, Uh, bring this one scripture out. Shalak Yaakim. Here we go. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 16. It says, How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of the upright is departed from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. You know, so basically, you know what I'm saying? Like I uh, said before, man. No riches of this world can compare to wisdom, not your understanding of the scriptures, you know. Because when Jacob trouble come, you know, these uh that that these the carnal things that this society push, you know what I'm saying, won't be able to save you from the most highest wrath. You know what I'm saying? It won't it won't save you from the day of the Lord, the Lord's judgment, you know. Only his law, statutes, and commandments. Well, only no one having the wisdom, not your understanding of the scriptures and fearing the Lord will save you from the day of judgment, man. And that's what, and that's what our people, well, only the elect is going to do this, you know, but only the elect is going to try to live righteous as they can be, you know, because as the scriptures say, um, roughly paraphrase it. Uh, a just man shall fall seven times but get but get back up. The seven just mean to complete. So, you know, you know, we just gotta keep pushing to the end, man. That's basically uh the the message that I'm pushing, man. Gain fear the Lord and gain wisdom, not your understanding, so we so you can have salvation. But I want to.
to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom.